welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm filming part two of my series, Trying Snacks from a Slovenian Store. So on my last video, a subscriber kindly left me some suggestions of what I should try next. So I went on the hunt. I literally went to three stores trying to find some of these um, snacks. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to find the Chunga Lunga, which I really wanted to try. So yeah, I won't be um, reviewing that. Also, I'm not going to be taste testing Vicky, it's a um, Nutella type of spread. And I have tried Vicky before. So yeah, I'm going to be also trying some other types of snacks that I have tried before and I wanted to share with you guys. Disclaimer out there, I know that these snacks are not all from Slovenia, but it's from the Slovenian store. So yeah, let's jump right in because I'm really excited and I have my coffee ready. So let's begin. The first snack we're trying are all the chocolate snacks and the first one is these Jaffa chocolate wafers, Jaffa Napolitanke and I'm so excited to try these because it looks so yummy so that's what it looks like mm. that is so good I would give a 10 10 would recommend that was absolutely delicious the chocolate is so creamy and nutty sort of taste I get from it absolutely highly recommend trying these and to the next chocolate is this one here and it's Malika this is a really popular brand this also um, my subscriber recommended to get the rice puffy version but I couldn't actually find it so I'm going to be having the triple caramel now doesn't that look delicious it's got three different types of filling and it's made with 100% alpine milk chocolate so it's the real shiz this looks this design looks a lot like galaxy if you've tried galaxy chocolate before that's what it looks like so let's break it actually well, I thought that was gonna like, you know, anyhow. So let's try the first one. Mm. That's the caramel one. I'm going to have to do a workout after this. <laughs> is marshmallow now these I got in a family pack because they don't come in singles that's how they look <gasps> there was one upside down one very controversial <gasps> and another one that was upside down Tara ASMR on packaging video Oh, so it has like some dusted powder on top, some chocolate powder. Hopefully they all like that or maybe one looks a bit old. So let's try it. Yeah, it's all right. I'd also give that a, but well, I'll give this a six out of 10. I'm really sorry if you really like these, but they're all right. Yeah. I'll be sharing these with the neighbours. So this next chocolate is actually really quite expensive in the store. It was like $2.99 for a pack of four. And the single one was 39 cents. So I bought the single one because I'm not going to be eating all this chocolate by myself anyways. So it also has a really difficult name. So let's see if I can pronounce it. Jivotin Yesko Cars Cars Tavo. That's what I think it says. Forgive me if I'm wrong, but I probably am. And the pronunciation, I probably butchered, but yeah. This is also from the brand Crush. And I think it's a Croatian brand. Forgive me if I'm wrong. So yeah, it's starting to melt. Mm. 
So yeah, it doesn't taste bad at all. The chocolate is creamy, milky, and um, I don't know if they can justify the price because that's quite expensive for four packs, although I never got four. Okay, so the next snack, I'm not sure of the origin of this, but it looks really appetizing. And it's from the brand pa Bambi. I was gonna say Pambi. It's from the brand Bambi. And don't they just look appetizing? I mean, the whole packaging and everything. Oh, they're so cute. That's how they look. Let's try it. It's a biscuit inside. Yep, these are also alright. I like these better than the munchmallows. They're actually, I'd give them an 8 out of 10. So yeah, it's nice and crispy. And a thin layer of chocolate. Definitely would try these if I were you. The snack I'm trying are these milk chocolate with puffed rice. And they're really light. It looks really heavy, but it's not. Wow, that is some thick piece. Most of it is filled with the rice, the puffed rice. Just the outer layer has got most of the chocolate. So that's why it's so light. So I will give that a 7 out of 10. It's alright. Yeah, the chocolate is just like normal milk chocolate and the rice puffs are just puffy. Yeah, I don't really have nothing to say about that. It's all right. It wasn't mind blowing or anything like the Jaffa cakes were. Candy we have is Bron Heat, the original caramella toffee with herb extracts. A lot of um, Slovenian candy has a lot of vitamins and herbs in it, which is great. Um, and this one is also from Crash. I hope it doesn't have licorice. I'm not that big of a fan of licorice. You got little swirls. The first thing that hit me was the mint and I should have had it last because not everything's going to taste minty but um, it's not my favourite. I'm really sorry if you really like bronhi but it's definitely not for me. It's got like, it's toffee but it's really soft toffee. I really like hard toffee. Moving on now to the savoury snacks. So the first one I have is like, they're really Moorish and I have had them before and it's from Tuss. Took. Yeah, I can't pronounce the sa in Abasa. I know it's not pronounced as sa, it's pronounced like pizza. So that's the sa. Tus. I think it's pronounced tus. Sorry if it's wrong. It's really difficult for me to pronounce the sa, okay? So, yeah, these are one of my favorite snacks. And the ones that I normally have are the sour cream and onion and it's super yummy, super moorish. I could eat the whole packet by myself. They're really thin wafers, crispy and salty and savoury. Mm -mm -mm. I haven't had these in ages because I'm trying to stick to a healthier diet. These come in chilli chili it's not that spicy and um paprika and barbecue i think highly recommend you try soletti now these you can find at every birthday party wedding any party you go to and they're like emmy davy yeah so you can find these everywhere and they look like this on the inside. They're basically high blood pressure on a stick. It's just got salt and it's like a pretzel stick. Oops. 
These are also very Moorish. I haven't tried this brand, but you know, it's not like they got a flavor or anything. So they're like these big puffy, puffy, what are they? These puffy things. Puffy corn. It didn't taste of anything apart from salt, but they're just super fun to eat because they're, they're puffy basically. So I could eat this whole bag because they're just fluffy and big and super pleasant, pleasant to eat. Last but not least, I'm going to show you some of my favorite drinks that I find in the store. Now the first one is Fructel. The funny thing is, is that I don't actually read the names of most of the snacks that I enjoy. I just take it and eat it. So yeah, this is Fructel freshly from the fridge. As you can see, it looks a bit wet. And this is the tiny version. You can get the big version as well if you're sharing with your family, but this is for on the go. And I got the apple one. I should shake it, shouldn't I? So I got the apple one. Comes in all sorts of different flavors. I think it's made with 100%. No, it says 50. 50% fruit. really refreshing and I love these small bottles they look like little milk cartons and lastly is my original green tea with honey this has also been in the fridge do you see the water dripping so yeah I'm not going to drink this now because I'm going to have this later on oh really love it I used to have this in England and since I moved here I was always trying to find it and I found it in the larger spa in Celia but my local stores didn't have it and finally Hofer had it and I was like woohoo and they were on sale so that's like a bonus so yeah anyways guys thank you so much for watching make sure to leave a comment down below of what you would like me to try next I always love to see your messages so I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.